A very good evening and welcome to St. Peter's Church here in Mount Rath, County Leash, for this service of the late evening office. Today is the Epiphany, a day on which Christians across the world mark the day on which Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour, was made manifest to all the nations of the earth in the form of the three wise men, the three kings, the three magi from the east who came to honour and adore him at the stable in Bethlehem. I begin our service this evening with an old tradition that is familiar uh, to many across Europe and that is the chalking of the door. In recent years it has spread here to Ireland and it's a lovely tradition. We chalk the door of our church, of our schools, our homes and this the epiphany praying for the Lord's light and blessing upon us in the year ahead. The three wise men, Caspar, Melchior and Balthazar, followed the star of God's Son, who became human 2,021 years ago. May Christ bless our church, our homes, our businesses, our community, and remain with us throughout the new year to guide and protect us. Amen. Visit, O blessed Lord, this church with the gladness of your presence. Bless, bless all who live or visit here with the gift of your love, and grant that we may manifest your love to each other and to all whose lives whom we touch. May we grow in grace and in the knowledge and love of you. Guide, comfort, and strengthen us in peace, O Jesus Christ, this day now and forever. Amen. I've chalked the door there with the beginning with the year 20 which stands for 2000 plus C which is for Caspar plus Balthazar plus Melchior plus 21 for this year of 2021 and we pray that God will be with us this day and all days. Amen. We continue our service this evening from page 162 of the prayer book. Blessed be our God for all time, now and forevermore. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory be to you, Holy Spirit, Comforter, treasure of all goodness and giver of life. Come and dwell in us, cleanse us from all sin, and in your love bring us to salvation. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Psalm 134, let us recite together. Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the holy place and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading and reflection. I'm using the David Bentley Hart translation 
of the New Testament and our scripture reading is from the Gospel of St. Matthew chapter 2 beginning at the 7th verse. Then Herod, secretly summoning the wise men, ascertained from them the exact time of the star's appearance, and, sending them to Bethlehem, said, Go and inquire very precisely after the child, and when you find him, send word to me, so that I too may come and make my obeisance to him. And, obeying the king, they departed. And look, the star which they saw at its rising preceded them until it came to the place where the child was and stood still above it. And seeing the star, they were exultantly joyful. And entering the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary and, falling down, made obeisance to him. And opening their treasure caskets, they proffered him gifts, gold, and frankincense and myrrh. Having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, however, they departed for their own country by another path. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The nativity scene here has, of course, expanded somewhat with the arrival of the three wise men from the east of their figures there. They've brought a camel uh, with them. This, of course, is a beautiful scene and in Christian households the world over and in many other places we see nativity set similar to this and nativity plays performed uh, throughout the Christmas season, somewhat less, of course, uh, owing to the uh, coronavirus, but a wonderful scene. And in fact, it's like a, a snapshot, a, f- a photograph. It takes us back 2,021 years to that uh, night in Bethlehem when Jesus Christ was born and of course the uh, feast we celebrate today the epiphany when the, in the days after his birth the wise men arrived from the east and Jesus was made manifest to the nations of the world it's a wonderful scene but the reality of course is as I mentioned it is somewhat of a snapshot because things just didn't come to a standstill or a stop here at Bethlehem that night. The shepherd here with his uh, sheep, the shepherds of course had to return uh, to their fields with the sheep uh, having uh, witnessed the the birth of the, the baby so they had to leave at some point. Likewise, the wise men who have arrived from the east, our scripture reading there this uh, this evening, tells us that they returned uh, to their land by, by an, another path uh, to avoid being captured by Herod. But they too, uh, having experienced this wonderful moment, being guided here by the star, having seen the birth of the newborn king, and with the wonderful gifts that they've brought with them, they too uh, departed and returned to their land. And of course, Joseph and Mary too had to flee Bethlehem with the child Jesus to take refuge in Egypt. So nothing stays still forever. Even this wonderful, magnificent moment, the coming into being on earth of our Lord and Saviour, our God, uh, Jesus Christ, this completely uh, a moment in human history that we can't even describe. Nothing can be compared to it when God descended and became uh, born in the form of a beautiful little child. That nothing uh, can absolutely compare to this moment, a magnificent moment. But as I say, things didn't uh, come to a stop. They didn't just suddenly halt here. This is the birth of God and, and that's it. Their, their life continued. Jesus was uh, brought up in Nazareth by Joseph and Mary and as I've already mentioned the shepherds went back about their lives the three wise men too went back about their lives but the one constant of course is the light of Christ that has come into the world that is present at every moment of our lives and now 2021 years later the light of Christ is still present in the world so let's make the light of Christ manifest in our lives by opening our hearts and our minds to him for his guidance and inspiration through our prayers by inviting him into our lives by communicating with him through our prayers and continuing to make himself manifest in everything that we do and say so that everything in our lives may be of christ with christ and for christ 
Amen. The Nunc Dimittis let us recite together. Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Let us pray to the Lord with all our heart and with all our soul. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all Christian people. We remember in a particular way our brother and sister Christians in the East, those in uh, Russia and in the Ukraine at this time. As we all celebrate, Christ made manifest to the world. Lord, have mercy. We pray too for our fellow Christians who are suffering persecution and discrimination in our world at this time, and for all peoples who are under the thumb of terrible governments. Lord, we pray that you touch the hearts of all world leaders to work together, that justice and peace may reign in our world. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all ministers of the church and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for peace throughout the world and for all governments, and we pray especially this day for peace in the Middle East, peace in the Holy Land. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for our neighbours and for all our friends. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for those who hate us as we pray for those who love us. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for refugees and prisoners and for all who are exposed to the dangers of travel. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for the abundance of the fruits of the earth and that the poor and hungry may receive a just share. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray for all sick people. We pray for those who are sick at home at this time or for those who are worried or anxious about their health. We pray too for those who are lonely. We pray for those in hospital at this time, for those in our nursing homes and for those in convalescence. Lord, make your presence known to them and lay your healing hands upon them and grant them health of mind and body. Lord, have mercy. Let us remember our brothers and sisters who have entered into eternal rest. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. The Collect of the Epiphany O God, who by the leading of a star manifested your only Son to the peoples of the earth, mercifully grant that we who know you now by faith may at last behold your glory face to face through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Together we pray the common collect. Lord Almighty, come and scatter the darkness of our hearts by the light of your presence, that we may know you, the light of the world, and the one true God, blessed this night and for evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And may the Almighty and merciful God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Good night and God bless you all.